Welcome back. In this video, I'll be mailing in my goat's fecals. I missed it. I was supposed to be collecting that. So when are your goats Puma Pumaka? I don't know. Um, it's very light. I get the I meal in their poo <laughs> um to see if they have parasites or anything. So um this girl here, which might be pregnant, I kinda hope she's not. What well, I do want her pregnant, but I don't want her to be because she lost a bit of weight and Pupamaka is very light, so I'm mailing in her. And since I'm doing her, I'm just gonna do everyone um just to make sure they're healthy because like parasites can spread from goat to goat, so you wanna make sure that they all don't have it. And hopefully she'll be okay. I already collected cocoa and sugar, but I just have to do caramel. I actually wasn't going to do a video on this, but um, I asked my Instagram if anyone had any video requests. And then somebody um, shared a poop emoji. And I'm just, I was just so confused about that. So, um... <laughs> This is the best thing I can come up with that would fit that emoji. I'm going to share it down in the description um, where you can get your uh, where you can get your facials. So this is just a company. You just mail it in and they check what you have and then they'll email you on um, whatever it has. So I'm here in Carmel Shed because every time I try to collect her poop, she would run from me. So I just went in here, waited for her to go. Cause I just need to collect it and then I'll be going to the post office. I've been waiting here for like 15 minutes. So I just got back from the post office. Sorry, I forgot to record. Um, but oh, since my goat's pumaka is low, I'm giving her um, I'm giving her vitamin B complex. This is an injection. So put the needle in here, and I'm giving her two and a half millimeters for five days. Shh because that's about her weight. Let's see. Fill that up there. And then, oh, sorry. <laughs> Here's a needle. I have to get those bubbles out in a minute. Make sure there's no bubbles in there. But I'm also giving her, I think it's two millimeters of red cell. And then I'm giving her um, a red cell that you she eats at. That do not... Do not inject that. That is something she eats, okay? Red cell, she eats, okay? And then I'm giving her one to two garlic cloves. So I'm giving her those three things once a day for five days straight, okay? And so hopefully that will help her. And then shortly after that is when her results should come back from the lab. I'm pinning her. I'll just stand with a little snack. And you have to find a spot to poke your needle. So, I'm just going to grab a piece of meat here. And, um, insert it. Oop, don't move. Go in. Go in. Oh, got it.
skin. Let go of the skin. Poke it through. And then pull it out. And then you don't want to touch the skin because the stuff will come out. You can do it here. Or here. Or here. Anywhere on the neck. Or here. Or here. <laughs> but not back here. Just the front. Yeah. I just don't really care that much about um, shots, injections, whatever. Um, they don't really. It doesn't really affect them too much. So, now we have to go get her some red cell. And, um, and then we'll have to give her a garlic clove. Come on, Jiggerfoot! You enjoy it? Actually, she, one thing I like about her is feather her loose. Like, she kind of just follows me around, doesn't really do much naughty stuff. Carmo, if she's loose, she's pretty good, but like if I have green, she'll come, but once I start walking towards her, she'll start running away. Her baby is just like that, too. I swear, her, her baby, Penelope, she does that, too. But, um, Coco, he's a nut. He just bucks you with his big giant horns. Sugarfoot, did you find the hay? Did you find the hay? So this is what red cell is. Um, this is a huge container. This is all the store had. They do sell smaller ones, but they were out, so I had to get the big one. Since goats, hey panda, stop eating that. Um, dog is trying to eat the medicine. Anyways, since goats do not like the stuff, they just like, this is disgusting. So, what I do is I put some molasses and then put some of that over it. And they love molasses. So they eat the molasses and then they'll have to eat the medicine. But, what little cutie. Yeah. She gets so good along with all the animals. Even the goats love her. Even the chickens love her. Chunk of molasses here and now I'm just going to pit two millimeters. Wait. I think it was two. I have to double check. Of red cell. So I got my results back on the goats and um well Coco and Carmel are all good, um, so they had nothing on there. But then Sugarfoot had red worms. So, um, I got, um, I was told to get her some, what's it, um, it was, um, Safeguard. And, so I went to Tracks Pine, and they, they didn't have Scope Kind there. I don't know if they're out or what, but um, uh, so I got horse kind, but then I realized that um, oh, she told she said not to do horse kind, so she said to get go back and get some um, some kind specifically for go. So yeah, I have to get some of that dewormer, but this morning I went to go feed her. And, you know, she was not looking great. A lot of diarrhea and very loose. I never experienced diarrhea with my goats before, but that's what they had. And, um, well, nothing. Just sugar foot. All the other goats are perfectly fine. But, um, I'm a little bit concerned for her because she's due in 28 days. So, hopefully I can get this taken care of. Um... Now I'm going to give her some of this, um, just to help that with her immune system. And, um, then I'll head to the store and get some dewormer, safeguard, so I could forget.
So, I gave her some of that, um, stuff, but she did not like it very much. She's had a little piece, not as much as I wanted to give her, but that's alright. Um, so I have her, so I have her isolated in this kid install, which I made for her, um, for when she kids, but I have her isolated in here. Um, just in case she has anything. Yeah, it's just, it is looking really gross in here. You know, I'm not going to show you the corner over there because it is a lot of diarrhea going over there. You're going to be okay. So, I have a video camera so I can see her when I'm at the store. Um, if anything is going on, see if she's, you know down or anything but I think it should be okay until I get back. So I got the dewarmer for my goat last night but um oh I didn't record because we got back like pretty late and um by the time I was like giving it to her it was like pitch dark and stuff. So um so I gave that to her last night like I'd rather start it in the morning because I have to do it three days straight but I started and I because she had really bad diarrhea. So I gave it to her, and I gave her the reviews and for probiotics and everything. And then um, now, today, she's, her stool is not normal. But good news is it's like more dog poop now, which is better than diarrhea. So it's a little better. So I'm giving her that and then the probiotics. And um, yeah. for the goat dewarmer, I'm giving her... Five, wait, one millimeter or cc per five pounds. So cc and millimeter equal the same thing. Um, or milliliter. I always do that. Milliliter. <laughs> yeah, I did that in a different video once. Um, but okay. So you want to do one cc or milliliter for five. For, um, for every five pounds. And I weighed her last night. I swear she's so heavy. No, before she's pregnant, she's about 45 pounds. I could easily lift her. Now she's so heavy. My back hurts so bad. Like, I literally cannot lift her. Like, like so heavy. Like, honestly, it felt like two feet bags put together. Like, big 50 pound bags. And uh, she ended up being 70 pounds. I, I mean... That baby must have been put a lot of weight on her. So hopefully that baby's not too big, because I don't know. So it is really cold tonight, so hopefully she'll be okay for the night. Um, you know, goats can survive pretty cold temperatures, but it's freezing. So um, I have a video camera, which I was using it for, saving for, um, for when they kid, so I can watch them case they have the kids in the middle of the night or something you know when they're getting close to their date so I got that I'm gonna put that video camera all set up so um I can watch her you know just in case she's not doing well tonight just give her this medicine safeguard dewormer um I'll put the stuff down in the description and um so I laid some, sorry, it looks kind of nasty. Um, I'm laying some bedding down in here. I, you know, I'm doing this, just laying some bed down every night. Um, and then once her stool's normal, I'm going to clean this all out and then put it down fresh again. Um, yeah, so I'm keeping her, just having her sleep away from other goats, just so she can rest, you know, a break. Yeah. Good night, honey. Good night. And also, this stuff is safe for pregnant goats. And so is, um, so is the probiotics safe for pregnant goats. So that's good. And her stool is already starting to look better. It's, it's now clumps, but it's actually like pebbled together clumps. So it's, um, it's looking a bit better. Hopefully she can get better soon. Also forgot to give it to her, but when I'm done with the medicine, since I don't like the taste of it, I give them a treat. I have some grapes here. 
I put them in my pocket. I totally forgot afterwards because I was giving her hay for her dinner anyways. Because I don't want to give too much snacks to goats, but... So, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a different coat today, it's because, as I said, Sugarfoot was having diarrhea, and so I had to wash it, and I didn't want to wear it, so she's better, if you know what I mean, just because it's been nasty. But I have some good news. So I've been giving her, giving her safeguard for... Yesterday and the day before. Today will be her third third time, which third and last. And so today, oh, so the good news is it was, she had bad diarrhea. Yesterday, it was like clump, so it looked like dog poop. And then it started looking like pebbles stuck together. And today, it's real pebbles looking amazing. So her stool is back to normal, which is a good thing. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't think I showed you yesterday, I totally forgot, but I don't think I showed you yesterday on how I, um, how I, um, oh, gave her her medicine. You can watch my video on how to give your goat medicine through a syringe, I always saw that video, but, um, yeah, I'm just gonna record while I do it this time, alright? Also, since her stool's back to normal, I won't be giving her any probiotics tonight. I just felt her sweet little baby kicking. That's an amazing feeling. You know. It's really an amazing feeling. So, um, thank you for watching. Yeah, this was a very interesting video, but I had fun. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And if, you know, subscribe for more videos, comment for any questions, and, um, Be sure to come back um in you know less than a month. Uh she'll be having a baby. So I'll be sharing that on here. And also um you can check out my Instagram because I'll be sharing on there too. The Instagram is the same as me, YouTube. Go to Farm Girl. So go check that out and uh see how these kids are. Oh, be sure to guess how many kids you think she's going to have. Okay, so here's her thing. She's, she's lost a bit of weight from being pregnant. I mean, be, from being, uh, getting worms. So that's how I knew she had worms, because, you know, obviously. So she's very bony here, but here's her sides. Very thin. Um, so I think she's going to have a single, but let me know on your thoughts. Plus, she's gained a lot of weight, so it's possible she could be... Just hide in another kid in there, especially because it's her first time. Thanks for watching.